Okay, so we are on our way right now to our second pineapple appointment. Appointment number two. <laughs> and um, I'm really hoping I don't have a bad day like I did last time. Last time I went to the doctor, I don't know if it was just if it just happened but i just had the worst pregnancy day ever i was throwing up all day and i was just asking spencer if he thought it was just a day i was having or if it was because of the amount of blood i got drawn and i get really squeamish so who knows maybe that did make me even more lightheaded and horrible feeling but hopefully today fingers crossed everything is fine today we're gonna be checking out the pineapple checking on the little babes and then I'm definitely getting more blood drawn because I know they're doing the I think it's the nip to the nip test now where they're gonna check for things like down syndrome and also we're gonna find out the gender which is what we were really looking forward to we all are we're like really antsy to find out if it's a boy or a girl but we both think it's a boy right Spencer yes <laughs> Spencer is awfully quiet today. Um, yeah, so we're hoping and thinking it's a boy, but we will find out um, after this test is done. And I did get the results from my carrier screening tests, and I was negative for everything except for one um, one thing for taste sacs. For rabies. No, no, <laughs> except for rabies. Yeah, I'm a wild animal. Um, the doctor said there was one test for Tay-Sachs which was undefined, meaning it wasn't positive or negative. So they're actually going to draw my blood again today to redo the test because of that. But I was negative for everything else. So, um, I mean, I'm thinking I'm just negative for everything, which is awesome. Usually, whoa! Oh boy, bumpy ride. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy ride to the doctor. Okay, pineapple better get used to this. Daddy's driving. It's cray cray. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see what happens. I'm excited. I'm always so excited to go to the doctor. It's like what I look forward to. It's like as soon as I leave the doctor, I was like, when is the next appointment? I want to see what's happening. I'm really excited to see how much he or she has grown and what's going on. And if they're moving in there and to hear the heartbeat. And there's just so much, so much to see and so much to learn. And I also have a million questions, obviously, for my doctor yet again, because the most confusing thing to me is all of the products that I'm allowed to and not allowed to use. Because if you look on the back of like ingredients of products, it's just a list of like a thousand things and they're all, you know, chemical terms and it's you know it can be tricky to know what's what and sometimes they're sneaky and they hide certain bad things in a longer name so you don't think that's what it is but it is will you stop turning up the music i'm trying to talk <laughs> always being rebellious um what was i talking about you interrupted me <laughs> what? you wanted attention here what do you want to say <laughs> whatever okay so yeah that's like the trickiest thing for me and it's been really hard for me to find a makeup like a foundation I can use I tried a couple organic things and they're just horrible and my skin's just been super dry and I've been breaking out so it's really hard to find something I can use that's natural enough and safe for pregnancy so I definitely need to ask her about that and then there's a couple other products and um, food items that I'm worried about so I have questions prepared, so, you know, I'm going in with a thorough approach. All right. <laughs> it's happening. Getting tested. Oh my goodness. Time for me to get undressed and then we're going to see the baby. What's your reading? <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. How I survived opioid addiction. <laughs> Catching up on the celeb gossip. Yeah, what is it? What's the, what else is there to do in this room with a half naked woman? <laughs> <laughs> so there's your kid. So body, head, arm. 
it's moving. It's moving. Look at the brakes kicking. kicking. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Whoa. It's moving. It's really busy right now. <laughs> That's crazy. We will not get. Um, that's not gonna be all the time, so are you capturing it right now in video? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Has it grown a lot? Yeah, a ton. But I'm gonna measure it in a minute. I just wanted to, I don't it's, wanna stop yeah, filming it's moving. it's so cute, but. Um, it's just swimming in there. <laughs> like I need more room. <laughs> Hi, we're about to get our blood drawn. We just saw the baby, it was swimming around. <laughs> it was swimming like a crazy swimmer. Kicking. Kicking around. Like, get me out of here. Well, it was a swim. <laughs> Reminds me of somebody. Get me out of here. He was swimming. <laughs> we just, I think, came to the conclusion that we're going to go up Northern California. That's beautiful. Yeah. You guys get to drive or fly? Drive. Drive is beautiful. I love driving. We're driving, Christina. <laughs> How long is the drive? Like six hours? Uh, just depends on where, yeah, where we want to go. You can handle six hours in the car with me. You've handled 18. Oh my god. Or 20. Of <laughs> Make sure you stretch in between. You okay? Mm -hmm. She's got to take that needle out and put another one in here in a minute. Are you ready oh. for that? <laughs> I'm gonna use a nail on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you use a big, I'm gonna use thick a big, needle on it. Big needle on it. <laughs> like a straw. <laughs> That's two, okay? How many do we have? We had to do four. Oh my. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I made it. You made I it. I made it out alive. <laughs> It's your yeah. turn to get tortured. <laughs> Where's my nail? <laughs> I know you're terrified. You're just being a man. <laughs> going to fight. That's his coping mechanism. <laughs> Make a face. Yeah, that's exactly the face I would make. You like to watch that? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I didn't God. realize. Yeah, I didn't. If I look, I get, like... I get it. Yeah, if I see it, I get, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we got matching battle wounds. Look at us, warriors. We are warriors. <laughs> We just got back from our doctor's appointment everything was really good the baby was so cute it was just kicking around and swimming around um, we're really excited to find out who it's gonna be a boy or girl we're gonna find out in the next seven to ten days she said so that's really exciting sorry I'm like really out of breath that's one thing that's definitely been ongoing I'm just constantly out of breath and I'm sure that has to do with the amount of blood flowing through my body they say you have like 50% more blood um, flowing in your body um, to help support the development of the baby and also my heart rate because of that has been like through the roof I think resting it's been like above a hundred and so when I do work out I easily get to like 150 160 and I feel really out of breath so I try to take breaks um, during my workouts but I have been working out pretty consistently it does definitely help with my energy levels I feel like when I go to the gym I feel a lot better afterwards so um, I definitely recommend that for anybody who is pregnant as well to so definitely try and make it to the gym like today i really don't want to go but i'm going to force myself and usually once i get started it becomes easier but yeah i'm going to go and do a workout 
And one of the things I had asked her about was about vitamin A, because you're not supposed to have anything with retinol, obviously, but and a lot of vitamin A. But she explained to me that it's the preformed one, preformed vitamin A that is a concern. So obviously she said it's really hard to OD on it, which I was worried about. Um, but she said it's really difficult to OD on vitamin A. So food wise, you can pretty much have whatever you want in terms of that. But I was concerned about these protein drinks that I've been having. And it's either this one that I have, it's the Premier Protein. This is the chocolate flavor that we get. Or this Fair Life Core Power, which I've been really liking. And this has a bit less protein, but it's really yummy. And this is the strawberry banana one. And I got it on Amazon, it was on sale for $18 for a 12 pack. So I got it. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, on the back of these, it basically says that it has a 25% daily dose of vitamin A. Bokasanya, there you go as you can see on that one and on this one as well. It has full list of goodies if it would just, there you go. I was worried about that because I had been drinking them and I didn't realize. So I brought one in today to ask her and she told me it is fine. So if you guys are having one of those a day, that is okay. Obviously I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't push it past that because you do still want to be careful, but it is okay so <laughs> i also got my foundation questions questions answered and it's really hard to be fully organic i think i'll make a video about all the products that i've been using while pregnant thus far and what i like and what i don't like and just to help anybody else out there because i did a ton of research and it's actually really difficult to figure out what's good and what's not and then a lot of the super organic things Honestly, they just don't feel that good. They're kind of crappy, like in my opinion, like, and they don't really react well with my skin. It's crazy that the stuff with all the chemicals I actually prefer, or not, not necessarily a lot of chemicals, but things that have certain ingredients, maybe some preservatives. So yeah, but I'll definitely make a video about that to help anybody else out there because I sure know that I needed help and I still do. So if you guys have any products that you recommend, that if you've been pregnant and you know some really great ones, please, 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 please let me know in the comments below. I will be forever grateful because it's been really difficult to find things that I love and that are actually good. Oh yes, and let's talk about some of the things I've been craving. Eggs, I freaking love eggs. And then one odd thing that I've been just craving and drinking every day is tomato juice. I freaking love it right now. It tastes so good to me for some reason. Basically anything, acidic like lemons oranges tangerines anything citrusy and acidic is my go-to like other like normal sources of protein they just don't sound that good to me chicken beef fish nothing it's just kind of i have to force myself to eat it so i haven't been really liking that what else oh salsa yeah another tomato acidic ingredient this is trader joe's chunky salsa it's pretty good and then obviously carbs like boiled potatoes have been a crack of mine, but rice, for some reason rice, I don't like right now. It's not that good, but potatoes, yes. Bread, yes, healthy bread that I've been having is Ezekiel bread, which I mean, I've been eating that regardless, but um, yeah, egg whites. Egg whites, again, going along with the eggs have been kind of my go-to. And then obviously some things I can't have, but I really, really want like salami and smoked salmon. Oh, I want that so bad. I want sushi so bad. Like raw fish is something I actually do really crave, but unfortunately I can't have it. So that's why those protein drinks are so <coughs> handy for me. <laughs> what else am I craving? I don't know. I. Uh, I don't know, acai bowls, those are really good. I'm really craving really, really fruity things like melons and strawberries and apples and just anything fruity. I eat a ton of plums too. Um, so yeah, citrusy and fruity and carby. That's about it. That's where my cravings are lay lying right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, crazy. Walking around talking and I'm completely out of breath. But yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and this is just a little mini pregnancy update. I'm 10 weeks, oh my goodness. Well, now she said it might be a bit over, but it just depends on how they measure the baby. But somewhere, somewhere in that mark. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss my next videos. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time, bye.